So they allowed him to have time. Well, he did work at a place for uh, a poultry place. He was a foreman. Then once you have a day off, he'd only even go to a funeral. They wanted you there to work all the time. And that didn't suit Daddy. And then his partner that also worked, oh, someone haven't told you, uh, Daddy only had his seventh grade education. He emphasized that all the time. But however, his intelligence was, is must have been God given way ahead of me when I was in the seventh grade. No. So anyway, I remember Daddy was getting into it. Well, let's see, Reverend Gary, if he's still here, said Daddy used to use a $10 term. $10 a week, and I'm supposed to give a tenth out of that every well, son to God. So the figure I remember was 12 and a half. Somewhere he must have got an increase. <laughs> <laughs> and he worked uh, over at uh, during the Depression, Shenandoah National Park with the three C boys. Mm -hmm. So he was a member of the camp. But he wasn't. He worked for a contractor, Walt Hillier, who had dump trucks. And Daddy would leave. He was married then, or at Mount Clinton. He was married and would leave home on Sunday evening, drive over there, and he had a barracks he stayed in, get his dump truck, haul gravel to the roadway, come home on Friday, and then have the weekend off. And just, you know, for that, uh, making those few dollars that he had to give his tenth out of. But somewhere, the Lord did speak to that man. I don't know what he was like way before then, but he certainly changed him for the, the attitude of being able to come here and get involved. And he was involved with the, with the whole church. So, this is when we kids believe Daddy gave his life totally to God who became number one, and then his family, number two in this life. Daddy loved his church, and especially the youth. We had a great youth group, and Daddy did everything that he could to help, help them. Daddy and Mom always made sure that Larry and Phyllis went to church games every summer. Uh, this time, uh, Robert told me I just asked the date. I remember vaguely when he went to Camp Penn, where we went. Uh, he went at least once, and I went twice. Uh, to a Reverend Wigmeyer Gore, uh, was our counselor once for me, I think, and Wilton Thomas. I remember him very well. He was. So, uh, anyway, uh, and he did everything for the youth of his church, family, and for the districts. Purchasing Camp EUB Overlook was a very cramped and a humbling happening for Daddy. At one point, the board came up with mountain movers. Daddy went personally to his church members, family and neighbors, and even there the car dealerships that he went to anyone that he could think of about asking them to join and give money for the camp. Daddy loved company with his buddies, uh, Stroopy, Paul, Harold, and others. They did hiking and work clearing uh, trees from the land and help with the bills. Phyllis remembers Daddy expressing concern to Ron not long before he passed away that the camp needed another bill for the youth for the youth because the camp was turning away children for the lack of space. This was when the art was started and became a reality. Daddy and Mom spent many, many hours at the number one spot, other than their church, at the uh, Camp Overlook. Their monetary gift for the love of God was expressed humbly. Thank you.